Hi, you're watching Phone Arena's video preview of the Nokia N900, manufacturer's latest internet tablet. It brings forth a host of improvements alongside of the previous devices of the same family, both in terms of interface and functionality. One of the most interesting novelties is the built-in GSM module that allows the telephone calls over cellular networks. The gadget is powered by the latest version of the operating system MyMO, and this is the second most significant change over the previous models. Moreover, the N900 comes with a full QWERTY keyboard, 6 MHz ARM Cortex-A8 processor, 32 GB built-in memory, a GPS and 5 MP camera with card-sized tesser optics and double LED flash. As a whole, the tablet is relatively lightweighted, smaller and with totally new design compared to the previous devices of the lineup. It feels solid in your hand thanks to its distant overall size and hefty weight of 6.38 oz. The lack of buttons on the front side, however, clearly shows that this is not a normal cell phone but an internet tablet. What you have on the front side is 3.5 inch resistive display with native resolution of 800 by 480 pixels, earpiece, video call camera, light sensitivity and proximity sensors and LED indicator. Now, this is the QWERTY keyboard in all its glory. As you can see, the buttons are arranged in three rows, unlike the N810 and its four row design. On either side of the gadget there are volume rocker, power on off button that you can also use to switch between profiles, camera shutter, infrared port, stereo loudspeakers, screen lock unlock slider, stylus and micro USB port. The back hosts 5 megapixel camera with card size tesser optics and flash and the stand to prop up the device that's built in next to the camera. That's enough about the design. Now, let's take a look what's under the hood. The Nokia N900 utilizes the latest version of the Linux-based operating system of the manufacturer MyMO5. There are quite a few novelties alongside of the previous generation and we will try to show you all of them in the current video preview. Aside from the lack of buttons on the front, there is something else that tips you off. This is actually an internet tablet and not a cell phone. Despite the presence of a built-in accelerometer, the interface switches to portrait only when you get to use the phone functions and remain in landscape mode in all other cases. The home screen consists of four separate pages with own wallpapers that host widgets, shortcuts to phone contacts, applications or internet pages that you're free to arrange to your liking. The options, application and submenu options are called up by pressing against the upper middle part of the screen. The multitasking is one of the most fascinating functions. You can take a look at the applications currently running in the background by pressing the button in the upper left corner and if there aren't any, the main menu will pop up instead. The applications are visualized in a grid pattern, all of them with large pictures that change in real time. Really nice and comfy. Internet is what the N900 is all about, so the web capabilities of the device are integral. The built-in browser is Mozilla based and features full Adobe Flash 9.4 support. All websites look as if opened on a normal computer and get automatically resized to fit the screen width. If you need to zoom in on something, just double tap or make a circular motion. Here is how to do that. The Flash support is most impressive indeed. All flash elements are properly visualized, be it players on websites like Viddler.com and Vimeo.com, games on Facebook, say Mafia Wars, our own 360 degree views, etc. As we mentioned, the N900 is Nokia's first internet tablet to come with a built-in GSM module, so you can use the gadget to make calls over cellular networks. Similarly to previous generation devices of the series, the N900 features built-in VoIP functionality but the operating system comes with built-in support for Skype, Google Talk, Ovi, Jabber and SIP. To get everything set and running, all you need to do is just enter your account details. The N900 will automatically connect and add your online buddies to the phone contacts. If you need to make a call, you don't have to open the dedicated menu manually. Just give the phone a nice shake. The phone menu allows you to call up the virtual keyboard on screen or search in your phone contacts. You can answer or reject incoming calls by pressing one of the two screen sliders, similarly to the way you do it on the Nokia N97. The N900 is equipped with an email client that automatically sets up everything for you, at least if you have signed up with a major service provider. 
In case you have already registered with Nokia Messaging, the N900 will automatically fill in all relevant settings on your entering a username and password for the service. Quite nice indeed. Your emails get visualized in HTML and in full screen mode. We mentioned the N900 sports 5 megapixel camera, and this is not bad, especially for an internet tablet. Its interface is completely different from the versions on devices running previous MyMo editions. All elements have been optimized for bare fingers, while the number of available options is far greater than what you get with normal Nokia cell phones. Aside from pictures, you can also capture videos, so please visit phonearena.com and take a look for yourself. The N900 can be used as an audio and video player, and in both cases you will have to rely on the built-in multimedia player that comes with a really nice interface and visualizes album art properly. Of course, you have the option to create your own playlists, filter tracks by artist, genre, or take a look at the list of all available content. The audio controls pop up on screen when you start a track, along with the relevant album art, if present, while pressing the picture itself gets you to the album track list. According to the manufacturer, the tablet can play XVID coded videos, but we have found out that you won't have any troubles with DivX content either. We're using a prototype, but we tested the video playback capabilities of the N900 and we must say we're extremely pleased. We didn't have any troubles watching videos with high bit rates and resolution of 800 by 480 pixels, and we hope to see the retail units perform just as well. All told, we are definitely impressed at what the Nokia N900 and MyMo5 deliver. Using the operating system feels pleasing and the internet browser is, hands down, the best we have seen on a mobile device. Will the N900 prove capable enough to replace normal cell phones, however? We hope to answer the question soon. Until then, visit us at phonearena.com to find out what is going on in the cell phone world.